Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of Manga Geekdom. Today we're going to go over all the anticipated manga releases for the month of September. A little bit of everything for everybody. And as always, I like to point out that this video is mostly about new volume ones, all those new series that are coming out that are easy to recommend for new collectors, as well as deluxe editions or box sets, that sort of thing. So with that out of the way, let's get started. First book that we're going to talk about in this video is Last Quarter, Volume 1, the shoujo drama mystery supernatural series written and drawn by the legendary Ai Yazawa, the creator of such hits as Nana. This series was first published back in 1998 and it is collected across three volumes for a total of 16 chapters. The story of love between souls transcending space and time, struggling to adapt to life with a new mother and sister after her father's remarriage, Mizuki meets a blue-eyed man playing guitar on the streets of Shibuya and is powerfully drawn to him. How far will she go to see him again? After a brush with death, an elementary school student named Hotaru meets Mizuki for the first time in a dream. The next day, while out looking for her missing cat, Hotaru wanders into an abandoned mansion and comes face to face with the girl she met in her dream. Hatsune Miku Cantarela, Poison of Blue. I hope I pronounced that correctly. These are six chapters collected across one volume in a romance slash historical shonen manga published by Seven Seas Entertainment. And if you're wondering how does this work, well, Hatsune Miku Cantarela, Poison of Blue is a manga based on the Vocaloid song Cantarela featuring Hatsune Miku and Kaito. This manga is written by White Flame with art by Ichika. Cesare, the eldest child of the notorious Borgia household in 15th century Italy, learns he has a sister he's never met, Lucrezia. He is also given a poison called Cantarella, which has been handed down in the family for generations. The story unfolds after Cesare, here played by Kaito, meets Lucrezia, Hatsune Miku, for the first time. A rom-com favorite which originally ran from 2014 to 2022 is finally collected thanks to Seven Seas, 54 chapters across five volumes. But here we have Otonari Complex Volume 1, story and art by Saku Nonomura. Kuji Akira and Ninomiya Makoto are childhood friends and neighbors. Since Akira is handsome for a girl and Makoto is pretty for a boy, their gender presentation is often confused. As they try to untangle their complex feelings, Feelings about themselves and each other, they find out their friends are crushing on them too. It's a complicated childhood friend love story. Kurokiya-san wants to lead him around by the nose. Volume 1 from One Piece Books, 41 chapters collected across five volumes in a comedy series that ran from 2019 to 2022. This is written and drawn by Pororoka. I used to have better grades than this fool. Three years ago, Ru Kurokiya, a Kuro Gyaru, is on her way to flunking high school. Her childhood friend, straight-A student Tadao Tadashi, volunteers as private tutor to avert her reckless path. But Ru more focused on seducing him than learning, and their study sessions soon go wildly astray. When a Gyaru's pride clashes with Tadao's take it serious attitude, who knows what will happen next? An unexpected rom com so pure, you can't help but cheer it on. From Dark Horse Comics comes the legendary action sci-fi manga from Yasuhiro Naito, finally collected in oversized deluxe hardcover, comes Trigon, the deluxe edition manga featuring a faux leather cover. And for all you new Trigon fans that are wondering, this first series had 22 chapters collected across three volumes, then those were eventually reprinted into two volumes, which were the ones Dark Horse first released, which is what this new deluxe edition collects. That's a tongue twister. On the desert planet of Gunsmoke, a 60 billion double dollar bounty hangs over the head of Vash the Stampede, a pistol packing pacifist with a weapon capable of punching holes in a planet. Every trigger happy psycho in creation is aiming to claim Vash dead or alive, preferably dead. And although Vash believes in non-violence, he won't go down without a fight. And when Vash fights, destruction is sure to follow. 
From Kodansha, we have I Cross Dressed for the IRL Meetup Volume 1. This series ran from 2020 up until 2022. It's a shonen comedy romance series collected across five volumes for a total of 38 chapters. This Volume 1 actually contains Volumes 1 and 2 inside, featuring story and art by Kurano. Kokoa has made three best friends in her monthly meetup group, where girls get together every month to quell their sweet tooths by meeting up the cutest and trendiest new dessert cafes. Cocoa is in for the sweets, really, but she's also harboring a few secrets. Not only does Cocoa have a crush on another one of the girls in the group, Opera, but she's actually a guy named Satoshi, who's been cross-dressing in order to attend the all-girl group. During one meetup, things come to a head when Opera discovers that Cocoa is cross-dressing, and to Cocoa's surprise, Opera confesses that he is too. But Cocoa realizes that his attraction to Opera is more than clothing deep, and as the two grow closer, they'll learn more about each other and their own selves than they could have ever imagined. From One Piece Books, we have the release of Hero Without a Class, Volume 1. This is an adventure fantasy shonen published back in 2018, and it is still ongoing. Volume 1 by Kuzu Shichio and Ueda Yumehito, with art by Nanai Akio. In a world where everyone receives a class and skills at age of 10, and where such revelations have a huge impact on one's life, Arrow, the son of Sword Princess Farah and Archmage Leon, learns that he has no class at all. With no class, no skills, all that's left for Arrow is hard work, and so he takes to training, utilizing wits and cunning to emerge as an all-new type of hero. From Yen Press comes Togen Anki, Dark Demon of Paradise, Volume 1. This action fantasy shonen series was first published back in 2020, still ongoing, and it is written and drawn by Yura Urushibara. Shiki Ichinose's blood is Oni, and his father is Momotaro. Normally, those with Momotaro blood hunt the Oni, but Shiki's father refused to kill him as an infant. Instead, he adopted Shiki and raised him, despite the rebellious attitude and dangerous temper that comes with Oni blood. When a member of the Momotaro agency kills Shiki's father, he vows to avenge him. But as Shiki hones his abilities and learns to control his Oni blood, will he be strong enough to survive the dangers waiting for him? From Kodansha, an ongoing action gore superpowered series that first started publication back in 2021, comes Tank Chair. Volume 1, written and drawn by Manabu Yashiro. Living on Gui Cheng Island, called the most dangerous city in the universe, is no easy task. Genetic doping is common for gangs to gain ultimate power. Shizuka, a young girl, takes on the most dangerous of assassin jobs, but she's not the one doing the killing. Rather, it's her brother, Nagi, a strong assassin who took a bullet to protect his sister, leaving him in a comatose state and having to use a wheelchair. However, Shizuka has figured out the key to waking her brother up. He must be faced with killing intent. Thus begins the violent journey of recovery, battling the most dangerous foes. From Yen Press comes a rom-com shoujo series highly anticipated, Pink and Habanero, Volume 1, first published back in 2021, still ongoing, featuring story and art by Mika Satonaka. Mai, who has no skill talking to boys and less experience with love, meets Kei Kurose when she starts high school, but the wrong sort of sparks fly. Kei might be a super good-looking guy, but he treats girls like trash. Mai has no patience for his rude attitude, but when when she coincidentally discovers his secret part-time job, she might just have to learn to keep his trust. From Viz Media comes the dramatic seinen series Trillion Game, which started publication back in 2020. Story by Richiro Inagaki and art by Ryoichi Ikegami. Self-proclaimed world's most selfish man, Haru and timid computer whiz Gaku set out to make a trillion dollars. They start the company Trillion Game to accomplish this task and hope to iron out the details as they go. With charm, technical skills, and no business plan, can these other unlikely friends reach their lofty goal. After Haru and Gaku become the first Japanese people in the 21st century to be listed among the world's top 10 billionaires, Gaku reflects on when he and Haru met and the events that led to the founding of their company, Trillion Game. What started as a middle school acquaintanceship builds to a fruitful and unorthodox partnership as the two progress on their ruthless path to success. 
From Seven Seas Entertainment, we have Hatsukoi Note. First published in 2021, all five chapters of this BL series are collected in one singular volume. Story and art by Amakiri. Shoja, a high school boy whose heart has never known romance, comes across an internet diary filled with wistful whispers of love toward the writer's same-sex crush. A photo posted to the page provides a hint as to the blog's owner, Tsubame, a fellow classmate known for being a lone wolf. Shoja realizes that his friend Ryu is the object of the diary writer's affections, so he attempts to play matchmaker. But where will his own feelings take him in the process? Another ongoing shoujo from Yen Press, it is Springstorm and Monster Volume 1. This one first started publication back in 2022, featuring story and art by Mitsubachi Miyuki. High school freshman Ranko Haruno's sole desire in life is to keep her head down and just get by with as little human interaction as possible. It's working well until a random guy is literally hurled into her path. The responsible party? A guy she later finds out is her new stepbrother. Brother, Kaya Amamine. How exactly is she supposed to live with such a creepy jerk who seemingly has a penchant for violence? Another fantasy romance series from Seven Seas Entertainment, I abandoned my engagement because my sister is a tragic heroine, but somehow I became entangled with a righteous prince. Volume 1. Currently ongoing, first started publication back in 2022. This is written by Fuyutsuki Koki with art by Masuke Mawata. Leia, a saint of the kingdom of El Shaid, has her happily ever after shattered when her tragic heroine of a younger sister accuses her of abuse. Believing the lies, Leia's fiancé breaks off their engagement, leaving her despondent. But a surprise encounter with the crown prince changes everything. Charming and righteous, Prince Eric is determined to discover the truth truth about Leia's character by having her come live with him in the royal palace. From Kodansha comes a GL comedy series, Spoil Me Please, Hinamori-san, Volume 1. The series was first published back in 2021 up until 2023. 21 chapters collected across three volumes. Story and art by Tsuke. Known throughout the school for her selfishness and perfect grades, there's not a single underclassman who doesn't look up to Yaya Suo, including Ichigo Hinamori. Turned down by her crush because of her childish image, Ichigo idolizes is Yaya and wishes nothing more than to be as mature and elegant as her senpai. But Ichigo's perfect image of Yaya is shattered when she comes across her wallowing in self-pity in the nurse's office one day. The real Yaya is clumsy, clingy, and selfish, not at all like the perfect act she puts on. What's more, she's desperately starved for attention, and now she won't leave Ichigo alone. From Seven Seas Entertainment comes an ongoing BL series which first started publication back in 2020, written by Hirune Sian. This is After School Etude, Volume 1. When Minobe Chihiro is admitted to a private arts academy to study ballet, the last person he expects to train with is the surly second year Ichinomiya Shun. Yet by some stroke of luck, the two have been paired up for their school's mandatory practice. While Minobe has fallen at first sight for Ichinomiya's superior dance sense, the second year's attitude leaves a lot to be desired. For Chinomiya, paired with Minobe as a dance partner is not how he'd like to be spending his time. The grumpy upperclassman has his walls up, but Minobe's puppy-like affection might be just what he needs. From Kodansha comes another fantasy romance series. This time, The Boy I Loved Became the Jaded Emperor, Volume 1. Story by Bekio and art by Lee Oshikawa. The series was first published back in 2021 up until 2023. 17 chapters collected in two volumes. As a young boy, Prince Alexei was rescued from certain death by a friendly monster, and the two of them spent blissful days in the forest. But tragedy struck when Alexei's royal destiny caught up with him again. Now a young man, Alexei has taken the throne, becoming emperor and vowing revenge. Little does he know, the creature who saved him has been reborn as the daughter of a duke, a taciturn young lady with a secret. When fate throws them together at the imperial court, will they recognize each other, or will their jaded past keep them apart? 
From Tokyo Pop, we have a GL school series first published back in 2021. This is Boys Gilding the Lily Shall Die, Volume 1. This is written and drawn by Yomogi Mochi. Chihaya Katagiri has always been the first trumpet in her school's brass band, until Hibiki Aikawa transfers from a prestigious school and takes the spot. Despite initial suspicions, the two quickly become close. Katagiri admires Aikawa's talent and enthusiasm for playing the trumpet, and Aikawa Aikawa is struck by Katagiri's grounded treatment of her abilities, as well as her love for music. As their feelings for each other grow stronger, their lives become more complicated with the stress of classes, other relationships, and the last competition of their high school careers drawing near. From Seven Seas Entertainment comes Handsome Girl and Sheltered Girl, the complete collection. This GL comedy series ran from 2019 to 2020, 14 chapters collected in two volumes. However, this release collects the whole thing in one. Story by Mochi Olat and art by Majokoi. Apologies to both for butchering those names. When Okuma and Satomi's friend seeks her help wrangling guys for a cross-dressing cafe, Satomi winds up with a boyfriend, sort of. After asking her handsome and aloof classmate Kanda Mizuki to help out in the cafe, Mizuki agrees, but on one condition. The two of them must go on a date. Satomi eagerly agrees, delighted to have such a good-looking guy interested in her. But Mizuki realizes that Satomi has completely misunderstood something crucial. Mizuki is a girl. Will this case of mistaken identity blossom into something beautiful, or will the truth leave both girls brokenhearted? Finally, we close off this video with a box set release, courtesy of Viz Media, what I consider the definitive Zelda manga adaptation. This is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess box set. Collecting all 58 chapters across 11 volumes, this is the definitive edition to get for this series, story and art by Akira Himakawa, and as a bonus feature, you get a really cool double-sided poster. Once upon a time, wizards tried to conquer the sacred realm of Hyrule. The spirits of light sealed the wizards' power within the Shadow Crystal and banished them to the Twilight Realm, beyond the Mirror of Twilight. Now an evil menace is trying to find Midna, princess of the Twilight Realm, and the fragments of the Shadow Crystal to gain the power to rule over both the Twilight Realm and the World of Light. So there you have it folks, my recommendations, what I think are the highly anticipated manga releases for the month of September. Obviously there are tons more every month, but again I like to point out the new volume ones and the special releases like that Trigon Deluxe or that manga box set, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below on what is your favorite anticipated release and if there's something else that you're getting that is not a volume one, let me know as well. Thank you everybody for tuning in, for liking, commenting, subscribing and being a part of Manga Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. Of course, let me remind you that I do have a Discord server if you want to join. The link is in the description below. I'd appreciate that as well. That's going to be it for now. God bless. Stay safe out there, everybody. Catch you all on the next video.